Chapter 13 of The Art of Money Getting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Jill Preston. The Art of Money Getting by P.T. Barnum. Chapter 13 Beware of Outside Operations. We sometimes see men who have obtained fortune suddenly become poor. In many cases, this arises from intemperance and often from gaming and other bad habits. Frequently it occurs because a man has been engaged in outside operations of some sort. When he gets rich in his legitimate business, he is told of a grand speculation where he can make a score of thousands. He is constantly flattered by his friends who tell him that he is born lucky that everything he touches turns into gold. Now, if he forgets that his economical habits, his restitute of conduct and a personal attention to a business, which he understood, caused his success in life, he will listen to the siren voices. He says, I will put in $20,000. I have been lucky, and my good luck will soon bring me back $60,000. A few days elapse, and it is discovered he must put in $10,000 more, Soon after, he is told, it is all right, but certain matters not foreseen require an advance of $20,000 more, which will bring him a rich harvest. But before the time comes around to realize, the bubble bursts. He loses all he is possessed of, and then he learns what he ought to have known at the first, that however successful a man may be in his own business, if he turns from that and engages ill a business, which he don't understand, he is like Samson, when shorn of his locks. His strength has departed, and he becomes like other men. If a man has plenty of money, he ought to invest something in everything that appears to promise success, and that will probably benefit mankind. But let the sums thus invested be moderate in amount, and never let a man foolishly jeopardize a fortune that he has earned in a legitimate way by investing it in things in which he has had no experience. End of chapter 13 Recording by Jill Preston